everyone welcome back to the first video of 2023 my name is Lindsay and this is my channel so sweet Samuel this is episode 14 of so sweet Samuel and it's about a year since I've recorded my very first episode I'd like to thank you all for joining me over vlogmas and I'd like to welcome all my new viewers I had quite a, um, a lot of new subscribers over vlogmas so that's lovely so thank you very much and thank you to all my returning subscribers and to all my new subscribers as well this is just going to be a very short and sweet catch up um i was trying to do this yesterday but sort of ran out of time um it is tuesday the 10th of january today 2023 and i would like to go forward i'd like to try and maybe have a catch up every Monday or every two weeks on a Monday if possible and um, see how I go. So I've got a few finished objects to show you. Oh, I've got Samuel Milo to show you as well on the bean bag. Milo's here. Milo's Thank there. This isn't your first video of 2023 because the shorts are all the knitting. Oh yeah, there's Milo. He went to the groomers yesterday so he's feeling a bit chilly today. Uh, <coughs> so I had finished in my last video which was between Christmas and New Year I had finished my advent socks and these are the advent socks by the Yarny Badger they are lovely I love a sparkle yarn um, I've got a really large amount of this yarn left so I do have a plan for socks going forward so I will share that with you in a minute so they are my um, striping socks, which I absolutely love. I haven't worn these yet. I've saved these especially to show you. So they can now go in my sock drawer and I can start wearing those. I did finish those before um, New Year. I casted one on on Boxing Day and I had it done in two days. So, But I forgot to bring it out to show you. Um, I've made really good progress on my cowl. I think I have three colours to go in but I've got sidetracked let me have a count one two well I've got two colours to go in and then I've got the rib so I've got three colours but I've got sidetracked and you'll see what within a minute so I've got half a colour still to go in so I'm loving this so this is the snow day cow by hmm, who's this by Bex Creates it's a paid for pattern on Ravelry, but it's really pretty. So yeah, so I'm now, it should have finished, I think on this color here, but I'm now just doing a few repeats because I wanted to use it all. I thought it's silly just to have three, two or three colors left over. So I could do with it being finished actually. So I might give that a bit of love tonight. As I say, I've got the rest of that purple to go in and then I've got, this sparkly mauve to go in then I've got this slightly darker mauve to go in and then the rib will be done in a pink Let's tie it all in so I've only got well two and a half colors in the rib so that if I put my mind to it I could have that finished this week so maybe I'll give that a bit of love tonight and tomorrow get that done I got sidetracked and I'll show you what I got sidetracked with. I got sidetracked with two things. So in my knitting group, the one with the knitting friends with the lovely um, Karen from Knitting and Labradors and Lucy from This Nanny Knits, we are having a year long make along that started on the 1st of December. No, it didn't. 1st of January and it's knitting socks from Stash every month you can knit as many pairs of socks as you want so long as they are knitted from stash and um, they have to be adult socks they can be shorties but they have to be adult socks um, they can be vanilla socks or they can be pattern socks and every month um, there'll be a, 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 a prize will be drawn for a pattern and every quarter, I think you'll be put in for a larger prize draw. So I casted this sock on, on Saturday at dancing and I casted it off yesterday at dancing. So it's just a plain vanilla sock. And, but I added a, um, a contrast toe 
and I'm not sure where this mini was from. I think Wild Rose Yarns, if that's a dyer. I've had it for a while. Once all the decorations went down, I was able to get to all my stash. So I thought there was quite a lot of yellow in this wool. So I added this toe in. Um, 60 stitches on a 2.5 needle, uh, four and a half inches from the end of the rib, a slip stitch heel, um, and then seven and a half inches on the foot, and then a decrease, every other row decrease down to 10 stitches. And it's knit on Wool is the Answer, which is a 7525 Superwash Merino. And this colorway is Glitter Ball. And this was dyed up for Ali from uh, This Wonderful Life, and it was the colourway for the um, Strictly Sock Along and I've started the second one, started the second one last night at dancing and I'm halfway up the leg so and then I said to you I've got a plan for socks so my plan for socks this year is I found and it's a free pattern on Ravelry so I found a pattern where you can make mini, mini, mini socks, about that sort of size, really mini. So every pair of socks I make this year, I'm going to make a mini pair of socks, or mini sock, to make like a little mini sock garland, to hang up at Christmas maybe, or just as a record of how many socks I make this year. So I might even make a pair out of this yarn, because they are advent socks, I don't know, I might not, or I do have another plan for this sock pool. We'll see. Um, but that is so pretty. I love that. So that's my plan. Um, I've then finished my donkey from Cool Crafting, which was the Christmas surprise. So you can't buy this pattern yet. It will be available mid-January to buy from Cool Crafting. Um, if you've read the book, The Wonky Donkey, um, I've kind of like modelled my donkey on the wonky donkey because she is rather wonky. <laughs> but here is my wonky donkey. My friend Amanda had the idea to name her Willow, which I think I will. Say why. Um, we had a cat, a lovely cat called Willow, who we lost last year. Um, I gave Willow a little mouth, but she's rather wonky but I think that adds to her character. I really liked making her. So she's a cool crafting animal. She was a special edition, but she will be available to buy from cool crafting from the end of January, mid-January. Got a lovely little furry tail. Uh, wonky legs, adds to her character. Um, so she now just needs her clothes made. So her clothes are um, a bathing suit and long drawn, so they are very masculine clothes. So I will make those for her, but she might donate them to somebody else to wear, maybe Huey the dog or Eric the polar bear, because both of those are naked, and I might make her a nice dress as well to wear. But most of my cool crafting characters are often naked for a very long time. <laughs> the sheep is still naked. Daisy the sheep is still naked. She's been naked since the summer. But I do like her. But Luna, if you are tempted to make a character, Luna the rabbit is by far the easiest ones. They have got harder as they've gone on. The, uh, we're now on to book four. This one is not in a book yet. Um, and if he, if he appears in the book, he won't appear until book five or later. But as, as they are progressing, they are getting harder and harder. The bodies are fine. The body construction is the same every time. It is the faces that are getting harder and harder every time. And I think that's where I struggled. I don't think my face is quite correct. But we're all individual. We don't all have the same face anyway, do we? And I love her. So I'm quite happy with her as she is. So what else am I doing? Um, I joined a, a Patreon group called Sincerely Louise. And this is called Knit the Year. And it's going to be a, um, every month you get a pattern to knit a toy. 
So January is to knit a cat, so I just need to print that off. Again, I'm going to try and knit that all from stash. You can either uh, be a Patreon and get it as a kit, the pattern and the yarn, or you can be a Patreon and get it just as a pattern. I'm gonna get it just as a pattern because I have enough yarn in stash to, um, to do my own thing. I don't need to have any more yarn. Um, I do want to try and use all my own yarn up. Um, I want to, I would like to try and make a dress in the next few weeks. I did go out today and buy myself a dress. I bought myself a shirt dress. I have got a pattern for a shirt dress, but I tried it on in Marks and Spencers and it did suit me and I have got a pattern for a shirt dress. I am wearing a Me May top today. It's the Billy top from Tilly and the Buttons. I made this a couple of years ago. Um, I have got a pattern for a shirt dress, a sew over it shirt dress. So I am going to have a go at making that, but I do want to make the Eve dress because I've been invited to a function in London in in, in February. Um, but I just want to show you my planner actually. I've got a new planner for this year. And I've done a knitting page. So I want to keep track of what I knit. So I've got a knitting and crochet page. So in this column here I've got the project, the needles and yarn, start date and finish date, and the same here. So I've got my advent uh, cowl. I know I started that before December, but I wanted to write something down. I'm going to do another anchor sweater. I'm going to do it in this yarn that I need to wind up because it's so floppy in there. And I've got my socks. Oh, I need to say I've finished. What which ones are those? Oh no, well, is the answers. I haven't finished them yet, have I? So that's my knitting page. So I've got a couple of knitting pages. I've then got other crafts. So I put down there my donkey from Cool Crafting, made from felt. Started it on the 1st of January, so I need to write in there now that I finished that today, on the 10th. And then I've got a page for Christmas crafting, um, so I can start planning down things I make. I have ordered something to make for a certain somebody. Mom, mm. I can't very well, Camille. Oh, sorry. Mm. Milo's very tired. No, 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 yeah, there we go. Milo's asleep and so am I. Milo's sleeping. So, um, so yeah, so they're my um, plans. So, yeah, I'd like to say a really big thank you again for everybody that has been leaving me comments. I have read everybody's comments and I've liked and hearted them all. I will try to get round to replying to them all as well. Um, so thank you very much. Um, I would like to try and make this, these videos more regular, so shorter but more regular. I just suppose I don't always have to have finished items, do I? But maybe if I aim for every, I was thinking every week, but if I aim for every two weeks, then maybe I'll have more things to show you. Um, I need to make Willow's clothes now, but I also would like to make Flora lapping as well. Get her some clothes made. And I do want to make my mum some socks for her birthday. So they'll be the next pair of socks I cast on will be for my mum. So next time I see you, I will have finished those socks I'm doing. I will have finished my cow. I'll have made my little mini socks to match. Um, hopefully I will have made the little baby jumper. I probably will have already gifted that. So I might just have to sit, put a photo into YouTube to show you that. But I'm going to sign off for now because it's... Um, 10 past five, Mark will be home in a minute and want his dinner. So I've been trying to do this all day, but I wanted to get the donkey finished to show you her. So let me know in the comments down below what you've been working on. Um, if you are a... Um, to, huh? Don't worry. What were you going to say? I don't know now. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, maybe you'd hit like. And if you haven't already done so, maybe you'd hit subscribe. Help me grow a bit more. Um, and maybe spread the word about So Sweet Samuel. Oh yeah, also spread, spread the word about Loopy, Loopy Dog, Dog Life. Life. Don't worry about watching my video, just subscribe. <laughs> okay, take care everybody. Like and I'll... my videos, it helps me. The like buttons feed me food. I uh, barely have any, so that's why I'm so skinny. 
Okay, I um, hope to speak to you all soon. Let me know what you're working on. What crafty projects did you get for Christmas? And I'll speak to you in a couple of weeks. Take care. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.